So, wonderful good afternoon, dear LinkedIn community and Composites Launch members and experts out there. We are going strong on Jack World 2024. This is our afternoon session with Mr. Alan Harper, who just came out of Thailand yesterday night and stood on the booth already at nine in the morning. Welcome yes. to our show, Alan. <laughs> Thank you very much. So you you come from uh, from uh, Thailand, no uh, jet lag because you can uh, sleep on the plane. Sleep on the plane, yes. so that's great, and we can start immediately off in a in a in a great way. We can, guys. I've met Alan. You have to know, uh, at ICS in in Milton Keynes in, in England, yeah. Because it, it, I was immediately attracted because I never saw a UK gentleman with a hat. So Alan, <laughs> Alan is the UK gentleman with the hat. And I asked him particularly to be on my Composite 360 on tour show because the hat is one thing. Um, he's a gentleman. It's the other thing. And the other thing is, of course, the topic of sustainability. And before we dive into sustainability in the Composites reduction, we want to decrease your cost of production. That's our passion, reducing costs of production. We want to introduce you also to Andre. Andre, please have a short introduction of yourself. Hello, uh, nice to meet you to all the uh, Composites Lounge followers and uh, I'm glad to be here and to be invited to take part of this great show that's doing great for our industry, uh, transferring knowledge and uh, presenting great cases. I'm from Brazil, I distribute Alan Harper for Latin America and some other countries around the world and uh, it's been 10 years of adventure, I think about 15,000 square meters of silicon bag placed around our area and uh, I think we're here just because we've one of the many cases of successes of Alan Harper Composite. So thanks for bringing this innovation to our territory and then making this uh, an opportunity for us to make the world cleaner, nicer and more productive. So nice. Thank you very much, Andre. So we, we're very happy with Andre's activity in South America because he's made a big impression in the South America, especially in Brazil and Argentina. Uh, Venezuela, Colombia. Venezuela Colombia. is a bit difficult yeah. nowadays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so it's just not happening here in Europe, but it's also happening in the East and the West. So we're very happy to do that. Our main message is basically what we have there. We it, it have basically eradicated um, the consumable waste package for infusion. But that's not the only claim to fame here. We work with silicon membranes and using atmosphere to push the resin in so we have a vacuum process. So that's our, our claim to fame and we've seen, we've been amazed at this year, 2024, at the actual amount of interest specifically. We're quite in the backwater here, right at the top. Yeah, I just wanted to say uh, over there is like the strip in Las Vegas. Yes. The big, <laughs> big, big, big hotels. Yeah, the big, big brands. I appreciate all of them. Yeah. Uh, uh, no gaming here. We are a little community so that you have an idea. Uh, at, at, uh, at 5L132 is your boost number. We're a bit away from that main strip, but I'm seeing here everywhere in the surrounding busy booth. Yes, it demonstrates actually yeah. that people are looking us out because you don't get passing traffic here. You get people yeah. who've actually come up to the stand because they read about it through your, your portal, through our portal, through our, our presentations on the LinkedIn and on the social media. Um, people are obviously reading about that and they make a beeline here. So we're, we've been delighted in the last day and a half already of the amount of volume of business that we're, we're actually seeing here. And we, we really feel that there's a confidence in the message that now we're re beginning to bring serious confirmation that we can save people money and that's really what our business is huge savings in material costs um, by using this process to make the parts so dear community we will run through not only the product itself uh, which we will come to it so more interesting for you guys is always the application side if I may I would like to introduce also Ian maybe you can introduce yourself and tell us about the success story 
in the UK? Yeah, I can do. Um, this is a bit strange. Usually you give me a mic, I want to sing. So, uh, <laughs> no, you feel free. We, we, we won't feel do free. that at the moment. Uh, yeah, so uh, I own a manufacturing company uh, in the UK. Now I set my business up six years ago yeah. and I set it up solely to use silicon bagging. In UK, uh, the mindset for silicon, well no one really wanted to use it, they're all stuck on LRTM, uh, LRTM and RTM um, and what we've done as a business as showing that it works on a daily basis and we produce automotive and building is people bringing people in and saying look this does work. Now we've got a customer that we've now sort of changed their mindset completely they are turning around about 32 million pound a year spending a million pound on tooling every year and they've only ever used RTM and now they've got rid of all RTM in the last 12 months they've taken five ton of silicon from us and that's changing the face of what people are doing so for me from a business we have saved a fortune running forward um, on a silicon membrane and I think it's great that the, everyone's mindset is changing and that, that's thanks to Alan really and, and what he's doing thank yes. you very much Ian that's very great and thank you for um, <laughs> thank you for supporting us and we help we, we look forward to keeping you supported throughout the next few years I come back to uh, Andre, and Andre, maybe you can d explain to the people what's, wh how it's transformed to the, to the Brazilian market or the South American market. So basically, we were a producer of composites in Chile and we used light RTM. At that time, 2012, I believe, we bought Alan's system for 16 square meter tools, which at that point he never done. And he thought we were a little bit crazy, but uh, with his knowledge and teachings, we were more than able to make this a success story. And from that time, we invested about $20,000. And right now, after two years producing, we saved $240,000. So that's about 10 times return of investment, which I never seen much in many places, if you know some like that I could put my money on you but 20 times return of investment made me love the system and realize the potential of what we were doing so I told Alan all the advantage and he brought me in and since 2014 as I said 15,000 square meters is a proven technology all the bus companies tractor companies and truck companies in Brazil and Latin America are adopting or have adopted thousands of silicon tools so uh, you don't need to be afraid will this work it will not work if you say it work it works so come over talk to us and you'll be sure to be saving thousands or hundreds of thousands or maybe millions that depends on you I hope we continue to harvest great success well I expect to be here next year and the year after yes God willing inshallah as they say some people say to me how do you make sure if you have if how do you make sure that if you have a hole in your your membrane you can find it well we have a very very interesting uh, system here and I'd like to show that to you now and we use a uh, high voltage to spark through a hole and you, if you haven't seen it before you would think it's something from Tesla it's amazing so I will just show you that how we find a hole very quickly in a membrane will you find a hole Alan if you if you have a hole in your bag normally we only look when we've just manufactured that because once it's manufactured very seldom do we get a hole develop after in this production life which could be 600 injections but here we've actually destroyed this bag by making a hole in it under vacuum and that, that we couldn't use it so to find that you how do you find it in, uh, and we're talking about a microscopic hole so we use this what we call the vaxstat and we can spread across here a wand which has 35,000 volts on it and we, we, underneath is a, di a conducting surface and we spread it across and if we find the hole, ah, there's the hole. So it's jumping, the spark jumps through a hole that I can't even see and we can fill that hole with a, a, um, a repair silicon which we call 153 and repair it in a, a few seconds and we're in business now. So that's just one of the uh, innovations that we brought to our industry. The main, the main part of reusables is the word, they're reusables. And what we've 
come along to bring to the industry is a process which it eliminates all consumables. Consumables, I mean, when you want to put resin through fibres, you have to help the resin spread out. And usually, the infusion, you use flow mesh. And at the end of that operation, you will make this amount of waste on a mould this size. This is the actual physical waste that we took from this bag when we didn't use a reusable. This reusable machine, the membrane here, will work 600 times. So 600 times of that is replaced by this. So how do we do that? The main thing is that it self seals. There's a seal on the mould and we can put it under vacuum and pull a vacuum very easily. We can also spread the resin around by introducing the resin at one point as you can see here. And we spread it around and we eliminate the flow mesh by introducing what we call morph runners. It's a flow field. You can probably see these lines. You can see the lines here and they will actually open momentarily to let the resin in and spread over the fibre. The here the fibre is carbon fibre, very high density carbon fibre and glass fibre and the resin will not flow through it over a metre or two metres or whatever, only a few centimetres and therefore we've put in here a flow aid inside the membrane which we will, we, which will operate Aiden, if you could switch that one on. Aiden's just switched that channel on. You can see the channel has just self-formed to allow the resin to flow. And as the resin flows across, we switch on the next one, and it flows across, and we switch on the next one. And th by this way, we can actually externally control the resin flow into the fibre without using consumable flow mesh, which means it's, it's, it just eliminates all that waste, which is a, a no-brainer for most people, but it's now the technology exists to remove all that consumable waste and when it's finished we can eliminate that so there's no channels left on the molded part that's what we call morph flow fields that's an innovation that we've brought to the industry now just move to another spot on the stand where we're actually going to show you um, that the process is not um, confined to glass fiber and, and actually carbon fiber we can also be using flax and and certain resins here we have a flax product made from a mold that we have on the stand here um, that is being done by a small company in Cornwall in England um, called Tonic and they use flax and they're using the same system to make this part and it's been infused with a resin um, into the flax with a very good surface finish for internal automotive parts and you can see here the mold which is a silicon mold which which basically follows the same shape as the part and was self seal on a complex reflange here to seal down and allow the resin to enter in through the um, the resin point. And some people say how do you actually apply the silicon? Well you can buy the silicon in um, two forms. Uh, one of the, the smallest way in which you can do it is you can take a, a cassette or a canister like this uh, which is the A and B silicon and put it through a handheld machine like this we see on the stand here and that will allow you that's about 500 uh, USD dollars but if you've got much bigger parts to make like a nacelle of a wind turbine blade then you would use a different machine which would I come and show you over here so coming away from the smaller machine which we call the microtop we come to the uh, Top Gear Silicon 6 and this is a, a much higher output machine which will deliver to make several square meters in just an hour. Um, this takes the two resins through a mixing head to a spray nozzle and uh, uh, has a very good flexibility to hold at a very uh, arm's length to spray the resin. So we can actually spray over three meters away and still get the, the silicon applied to the mold or close up by applying the, uh, uh, an angle to the, the spray tip. That's an air operated machine, no electricity, entirely air operated machine. So that's how people use um, the silicon from the drum and put it into the silicon um, membranes. The silicon will cure in about 10 minutes. So we can make a membrane in the morning and in the afternoon, take it off and try it. So we can see the whole operation in one day of say a four or five square meter mold. Thank you. In my short trip here to France from um, our place in uh, 
Thailand, I simply want to leave one message, and that is uh, this year, 2024, that we say from Alan Harper Composites, welcome to the future of Composites, because we are bringing you a much lower cost of available technology to change your resin and into molded parts for the Composites industry. Thanks for the wrap up, Alan. It was uh, really nice to meet you and uh, talk to you about your fantastic reusable bags here. And I'm seeing here also another saying, improve working conditions. Yes. Yeah, improve working conditions. And that's all about, because with, with composites, we are in the reinforcement side, glass fiber textiles. We have resins. They, they, these are challenging sometimes working conditions anyway. And if someone can ease that working conditions, that's of course some of our aims. Thank you very much. One more time, Ellen. Thank you very much, very much, Ilka, for giving us the opportunity You're to bring up. this much more noble process to the composites industry. Thank you. Have a great show. Thank you very much, Oka. I appreciate it.